Hello. Welcome to the Trivium Bus. I am Paolo, the bass player. Uh, we did a little bit of uh, Sunday cleaning for you guys, so it didn't look too messy when uh, you guys came up. But uh, yeah, currently we're on tour with Arch Enemy, good friends of ours that we've known for over a decade. Uh, joining us as well is Washi Sleeps from England and Fit for an Autopsy. So we're about two and a half weeks into the tour. It's been killer. We're promoting our new album, The Sin and the Sentence, which is out right now. Um, had a ton of sellouts. It's been killer. Can't complain. And uh, I'm going to show you guys what we got going on up here in our traveling home. For entertainment, we got the two TVs up here. Usually, I would say Sports Center or some sort of ESPN uh, show or Fox show is on for sports. Corey loves watching all of his sports and uh, usually he's plopped right here he's got his uh, w whatever the hell this thing is it's like this like Xbox thing let me see what the hell. I don't even know how to open it there's like an Xbox in there with the TV so he's got the sports on the TV he's got sports uh, over here um, you know obviously the usual this 1990s looking shit uh, with the aux cable play some tunes before we go up to the venue before the show um i guess for entertainment as well it's like it's either people maybe reading some books ipads listening to music pretty pretty normal stuff i think also with like so many people on the bus it's nice to kind of like keep your headphones in if you're gonna like watch some shows and stuff so it's not like a cacophony of every show and sports event going on at once but for the most part it's usually pretty quiet I like to chill on the bus before the show. I like to just be in total quiet if possible because for 90 minutes it's like the most intense noise ever. Even though we have in-ears in, it's still it's just a sensory overload. So I like to have the balance of those two things. So for the rider, uh, you know, we always make sure we have snacks. I feel like half the bus, it's kind of like a spectrum. It's like half the bus likes to really just kind of eat very healthy like 90% of the time. And then I would say the other side is, you know, after the show, especially the crew guys, they like to unwind, have a little pizza, maybe some booze, got some snacks. I don't know who got these. I haven't seen this on the rider since I was like 18. So someone's got a sweet tooth. I'm usually all about the fruit. Uh, of course, Pringles, once you pop, can't stop. That shit's always on the rider. Uh, let's see, just cups up here, I think. Yeah, always going through that. We're really packed right now with uh, canned chicken and tuna. So, got plenty of that. If you need any canned tuna, we are here. We can serve you. Uh, yeah, we got a lot of bread, a lot of peanut, peanut butter. We were just saying how people don't seem to be eating the rider stuff as much anymore. I think maybe it's because there's so many good restaurants everywhere. But, usually got some deli meats. Uh, Got the Greek yogurt, which is always a nice touch. What else we got here? Veggie juice. Um, I am definitely all about the iced coffee, especially the Starbucks brand. So we always get like, normally we get like this size stuff. We get like two or three of these. You go through that pretty easily. We're all uh, coffee junkies. Definitely need it after a long night. Almond milk, all that good stuff. When uh, people are starting to feel under the weather, always got to make sure you have some emergency. Matt always brings out the masks and he passes them out to people if they want. Um, gotta, gotta stay on top of being healthy because being sick and playing shows or for the crew loading in is absolute misery and you gotta do it. There's no way, you can't cancel. So try to stay healthy as much as possible. And uh, also, yeah, we got a lot of where are they at? The really nice thing on the rider is when we ask for the different beers and stuff, we usually try to get like a local brewery if we can, and then we get like the the usual big brands. Corey has been on a Rolling Rock kick lately. And also in Montreal, I asked for this, the Megadeth beer, which is really, really good. Uh, not only my favorite band, but now one of my favorite beers. So yeah, that's pretty much the rider in a nutshell. So every day we get up, Usually, we'll get like an email maybe, or it'll go to the group chat, but our uh, tour manager will 
print out a day sheet and uh, give all the, the schedule for the day. You know, pretty, pretty much the same thing every day, but you know, some stuff changes. We'll get like a layout of where like every bus is supposed to park and stuff for the drivers, for the truck. Um, yeah, I mean, that's a pretty usual day when you wake up to see where you're at. This is the nice uh, bathroom. I think uh, that's Audrey Hepburn on the wall for some reason. Uh, got a shower in here, which we actually haven't used on this one. Ooh, no. We always get the bus with a shower because like if you do a tour like Mayhem or those uh, Rock on the Range type festivals, you don't always get a shower. So, you know, you can't, you cannot go without a shower. It's disgusting. Did that back in the van days. We'll do that ever again. Pretty much everyone just sleeps in here at night. Um, the generator kind of keeps a nice noise going throughout, even when we're not moving, so you can't hear people snore that well, which is great because that shit drives me insane. Uh, and then you come to the back here, We've got some more TVs. Uh, I got a couple bags thrown in here, some of our, uh, our stuff, you know, try to keep it as organized as possible. Again, when you got 11 people, 12 people on a bus, everyone's got their shit with them. You gotta, you gotta stay organized, you know, and respect people's space as much as you can. And, uh, we, we do our best. I think we got a pretty clean bus. I've seen some others and it's pretty horrendous, so I usually just stay on ours because it's the cleanest. Sometimes Matt and I will be like kind of chilling back here. It's really not that much space. I feel like everyone will kind of like gravitate towards the front. Like mostly it's just kind of like chilling back here like if someone needs to take a call or maybe if we have press, but like really there's no rules. Like if you want to come back here and chill, you can. Your bunk is your own space, front lounge, everything is open for everyone. Uh, if you bring guests, just, you know, respect that uh, everyone's stuff is up here. And we don't normally get too crazy. Like, if there's ever a big hangout, we don't try to bring it all onto the bus. You know, keep it in the venue as much as possible. Sometimes, you know, maybe at a show where you have a lot of friends, we'll bring people up on the bus. But for the most part, there's no rules for anything other than just respect people's space and, you know, stay clean and clean up after yourself. Thank you guys for taking the tour with me. Uh, if you haven't seen us on this tour, it's Trivia, March Enemy, While She Sleeps, Fit for an Autopsy, all over America and Canada too. Um, our new album, The Sin and the Sentence, is out. It's on Spotify, it's on Apple Music, it's in some stores that carry CDs, if there are any of those anymore. Um, also, if you want to check us out, we're on all the social media things. I mean, Trivium Band, Trivium Official, pretty much on every account. Matt's got a Twitch. I think it's like Kichi Chaos. Uh, I don't even know what, he, what the Twitch handles are, but he's on there, so you can check him out on there. Um, yeah, we're pretty active, so uh, come say hello to us either online or at the shows. And now it's time for you to get out. See you later.